Hey, welcome back to Soul Whispers Tarot. I'm Karen. Today's reading is their thoughts of you today and how are they feeling about you right now as well. There's four crystals for you to choose from. Set of cards number one will be the pink crystal. Set of cards number two, the blue. Set of cards number three, the green. And set of cards number four, the yellow. So take some time to tune into these crystals, see which one's calling out to you the most. It's fine to be drawn to more than one of these as well. You can pause the video right now if you need to, and then we'll get straight into the reading. Welcome to set of cards number one. You've chosen the pink crystal. So this is your person's thoughts of you today. How are they feeling as well? And we've got lots of messages cards we're going to look into. The messages from the heart cards, the my soul's desire cards. These are both available on my website to purchase. If you would like a copy, the link is below this video in the description box. But before we get into the reading, if you would really like to shift within yourself energetically to become the vibrational match to come into union either with this person, if that is your soul contract to be with this person, or your true soulmate if you're destined to be with someone else, then I have a new really powerful meditation which is called Remove All Love Blocks. And in that meditation I help you to release codependency and attachment because that is one of the main blocks that gets in the way of you being able to attract your true soulmate relationship. I help you to release old rejection and abandonment wounds that have been subconsciously getting in your way and blocking you. And I also get you to stop putting your life on hold, live in the now, live in the present moment. That's vitally important to be present in order to be open and receptive to attracting that person that is destined for you. I also help you to stop basing your self-worth on anyone else outside of yourself because you know whatever we believe within ourselves is what we keep attracting so I help you to recreate that story to be more in alignment with your true self have that deep self-love self-worth knowing that you deserve the best and that is what you will attract as a mirror to your own energy I help you to stop micromanaging or chasing love I help you to really really surrender that's going to make you feel so much more peaceful. It's going to help you to really trust the divine, have faith in the divine and again, live in the present moment. And I also help you in the meditation to visualize yourself in the happy union that you are seeking. So that is called the Remove All Love Blocks Meditation. And there's 50% off because I've just released it. So you get all of this for only $22. That's US dollars. So please check it out. The details are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment. Okay, so their thoughts of you today and also how are they feeling? You have heartbreak, shatter, obsession, social media, and reunion. Okay, so today they're really obsessing about you. They're obsessing about the connection. For some of you, you've been through some sort of heartbreak and some sort of separation with this person. In other cases, this is kind of their ongoing fear. They fear opening their heart just in case they get heartbroken, in case things don't work out and they feel rejected or abandoned and all the pain that goes along with that for others of you that is something that has actually happened in some cases they had a big fear of that so they will stall in um, either through going inwards holding back or in other cases it was like they self-sabotage subconsciously in certain ways and made you feel heartbroken um, so it's all kind of manifested into this separation at this time either through intense pain that has happened or them anticipating that so today they're feeling intense sadness they're grieving they feel there's some sort of loss here um, separation they have regrets 
In some cases, you could have felt betrayed or they've gone through betrayal in their past and they're fearful subconsciously of opening their heart again. They could be crying. Um, they're mourning. So, yeah, they're feeling really intense uh, emotional pain today. Um, and, yeah, some in some cases there's been this sudden change, a shocking transformation of the status quo. There's been an ending. It's been a wake-up call to this person, though, an end of an era. It's been a blessing in disguise. I get the strong feeling that there was some sort of unhealthy pattern of fear that kept um, your connection going in circles or kept you in some sort of situationship but it wasn't developing further there was something holding this person back um and it, it has led to a separation maybe you realized you couldn't wait around for this person so you decided to move on or in some cases i feel like you tried to get closer to this person and then they sort of ran away or went into their shell and you already felt like they were emotionally closed off so um you had to move on from this person so i feel like this person's obsessing about you today obsessing about what's happened or what could potentially happen that could cause them pain they're spying on you on social media i feel they may be looking at your photos with the heart in this eye they're fixated they're feeling a lot of passion they can't stop thinking about you or they can't stop ruminating about what's happened um but they're also fantasizing there's a lot of sexual tension and burning desires within this person this person's really fascinated with you i feel like they've just got used to kind of being in this habit of watching you from afar in some kind of way and that's become this person's comfort zone um, but this person does realize that um, it can't sort of stay that way forever. Um, but yeah, they're looking at your social media. You could have some sort of communication with this person online. Maybe for some of you, it's a long distance online thing. And this person's kind of been refusing to meet up with you in person or something like that. In other cases, this person just feels more comfortable talking online. In extreme cases, they could be catfishing you. They could have created fake accounts. So for some of you, they're spying on your social media today through some sort of fake account, um, like online stalking and obsession again. This person, they do want a reunion with you. They do want to be together with you. They think about this a lot. Um, I think they have obsessive thoughts of that. Um, coming back together, this is what they want. Oneness, they want reconciliation. They feel like you're the one for them or they feel like you could potentially be the one for them. I feel in some cases this may be what's kind of spooked this person because it feels very different to what they've ever experienced and it's hard for this person to make sense of it and their feelings are very intense. I feel like they they fear wearing their heart on their sleeve or coming across as vulnerable or needy or desperate or something like that. So they kind of shut off their heart, their feelings. Um, but yeah, this person wants this reunion with you. They want to be together with you. I'm in my man cave, Four of Swords. So yeah, Four of Swords, interestingly, is about healing, rejuvenation, needing that alone time for recovery. So that really coincides well with that heartbreak card. Um, but yeah, this person may spend a lot of time kind of locked away, uh, their heart locked away. And I feel it's definitely also to do with... Um, Wounds from their past, wounds from their childhood, a poor, which have led to like a poor self-image and them subconsciously self-sabotaging. I won't ever give up on us, the page of swords. So yeah, th this person is trying to go inwards and work out like how to fix these issues, how to fix these blocks. <coughs> um... And yeah, I feel like this person energetically is very much like attached to you. You feel this person's energy. They feel yours as well. I will free myself soon to be with you. The two of wands. So the two of wands is like 
watching you from afar, thinking of you from afar. For some of you, it could be a long distance thing. It doesn't have to be. But yeah, this is what I'm sensing. They're going inwards. This person's really trying to problem solve and figure out how to free themselves from their own blocks or free themselves from something, however that may resonate, in order to be with you. I want you to be so proud of me, the three of pentacles okay so i feel like your person has some self-esteem issues in terms of they don't feel proud of themselves um they have a lot of self-blame a lot of self-judgment self-criticism that poor self-image and i feel like in some cases they're afraid to be open and vulnerable and get, and get close to you because um they're so they're, they're rejecting themselves like in many ways and so it's like really terrifying to this person to open their heart to you in case you are gonna reject them in the same way that's one of their biggest fears and yeah look the hermit i'm figuring things out so yeah again they they spend a lot of time going inwards figuring it out it could also be them in some cases them trying to understand what this connection is about as well but they're trying to figure it all out so they can free themselves to be with you. My passion is burning so strong that I can't take it. So, yeah, your person today is feeling incredible desires for you. I love your heart, your mind, your body, your soul. I love all of you. So I feel like this person is just so drawn to you. They're just so magnetized to you because they feel... Um, like they love you on all levels they're very fascinated with you I feel like this person may have put you on a pedestal and they're trying to figure out how to feel good enough for you this time around I'll do things right please trust me again so yeah in some cases this person caused you some kind of heartbreak um, because basically I feel like they chose fear over opening their heart and being vulnerable however that played out i fantasize about you every day so yeah this person's just like every other day they're fantasizing about you today as well in all shapes and forms i don't know why but i feel so self-conscious around you yeah they really love all aspects of you um, they have that obsession but they feel very self-conscious it's because they have some self-esteem things that they're working through so i'm going to continue this reading on over in vimeo and we're going to look deeper into the message cards deeper into their feelings for you right now their thoughts of you today what their current blocks may be and where your connection is headed so please check out the vimeo reading the details are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment and also remember the remove all love blocks meditation it can really help you on your path to aligning with that amazing soulmate connection so if this reading has resonated with you please give it a thumbs up write a comment share it and subscribe it really helps me out and thank you so much for joining me here i hope to see you over on vimeo take care bye Welcome to set of cards number two. You've chosen the blue crystal. So this is your person's thoughts of you today. Also how they are feeling. We have lots of messages cards we're going to look into. The messages from the heart cards, the my soul's desire cards. These are both available on my website for purchase. If you would like a copy, please check out the link below this video. But before we get into the reading, if you would really like to shift within yourself energetically to become the vibrational match to come into union either with this person, if that is your sole contract to be with this person, or your true soulmate if you're destined to be with someone else, then I have a new really powerful meditation which is called Remove All Love Blocks. And in that meditation I help you to release codependency and attachment because that is one of the main blocks that gets in the way of you being able to attract your true soulmate relationship. I help you to release old rejection and abandonment wounds that have been subconsciously getting in your way and blocking you. And I also get you to stop putting your life on hold, live in the now, live in the present moment. That's vitally important to be present in order to be open and receptive 
to attracting that person that is destined for you. I also help you to stop basing your self-worth on anyone else outside of yourself because you know whatever we believe within ourselves is what we keep attracting so I help you to recreate that story to be more in alignment with your true self have that deep self-love self-worth knowing that you deserve the best and that is what you will attract as a mirror to your own energy I help you to stop micromanaging or chasing love I help you to really really surrender that's going to make you feel so much more peaceful. It's going to help you to really trust the divine, have faith in the divine and again, live in the present moment. And I also help you in the meditation to visualize yourself in the happy union that you are seeking. So that is called the Remove All Love Blocks Meditation. And it's 50% off because I've just released it. So you get all of this for only $22. That's US dollars. So please check it out. The details are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment. Okay, so this person's thoughts of you today and how they feel in as well. Wounded. <clears throat> Divine timing. Destiny. Heartbreak. Telepathy. Okay, so I feel like this person's been um, having a, a, a holding or carrying a lot of wounds and a lot of heartbreak from before they even met you. I feel this has been playing out in your connection and it may have they may have made you feel wounded and heartbroken as well. Okay, and I'm hearing from spirit this whatever's happened is a reflection of their inner world and, and your inner world as well, like wounds that need to be healed. Um but I feel like this person, they definitely know that there's some sort of destiny at play in your connection. They feel like uh, it's a spiritual connection. They feel like your connection's fated. It's meant to be in some kind of way. And that there's divine timing involved. They feel like you're the right person, but the wrong time. Or they're just working through their own wounds. Um, some of you, they will not have really been able to tell you what their wounds are but I get this strong feeling like they're trying to constantly connect with you telepathically and energetically they're really trying to show you how they feel uh, energetically because I feel like they struggle speaking those words this is someone I feel that has has grown up feeling very isolated so they go inwards a lot to try and problem solve and deal with their wounds they don't want to drag you down um, with their their energy in some kind of way but this person really struggles to express that to you so they're coming across as cold um, I do feel like at times this person has tried to push you away they've tried to be cruel to be kind because they feel like you deserve more than to be dragged into their problems or their inner wounds. Um, <clears throat> I definitely feel today they're feeling heartbroken that you you think they, they don't love you or they're heartbroken as well because they feel like they keep messing up. It's like deep down they know that they have stuff to heal these wounds. So they have intense emotional pain, fear. They could be suffering with depression. Depression is making them emotionally unavailable because they're scared of uh, letting you in or letting people in in general is what I'm hearing. This isn't personal to you. They have a lot of defenses up. And these are subconscious things that this person I feel has had from childhood. So it's, it's unconscious. Um, so they get triggered very easily. Um, but there is healing here. But I, I do get the sense there's been a, an emotional roller coaster between you and this person. But the triggering's meant to have happened in order to help you both on the healing path. But yeah, this person feels like that your connection is fated. I'm hearing 
and feeling that um, they're really grateful that you came into their life. They see you as someone that's very kind, compassionate, nurturing, caring and understanding. They feel like you understand them at a deep level more than others have and that you've actually been very patient with them because they know they're not the easiest person to get along with, okay? And they see your patience, your dedication, how... Uh, for the most part, you haven't judged this person. You've been very empathic. So they see you as like this angel um, that came into their their life. Um, and that, you know, spirit brought you together. The universe brought you together. And they feel with this soul contract here, they feel like there's a powerful like purpose to you meeting each other and that it's divine. It has sparked somewhat of a spiritual awakening within this person. And and they feel they do feel like there's a future between you, but it's I'm kind of getting the feeling like they 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 think it's not now because there's too much to heal at the at the present moment or they're dealing with a lot of things. So they're trying to surrender and just trust the divine um, that your connection will happen, you know, when the time is right and that there's a soul path here, soul agreements. So, yeah, this person does realize that there's, this is a path of healing and that they're, that you're both meant to learn stuff from this along the way. So, yeah, it's divine timing soul contract not just yet spirit knows best surrender live in the present moment feeling impatient okay so i i feel like this this is in many cases been like a runner chaser kind of thing um like you intensely feel this person's energies you intensely feel them when they're thinking about you, you know that they love you, that you feel this intensity from them. But on the surface, they could be like, no, um, then they're keeping you at arm's length, okay? And it, it's because they're fearful of being exposed and vulnerable. They have thick walls around them. And this has been an unconscious pattern throughout their life. So again, spirit really wants you to know that this isn't personal, and it's not your job to break down this person's walls or try and make them feel so comforted in order for them to come out from behind those walls, okay? This person, they do need that alone time right now. They do need to go inwards to figure things out on their own. So Spirit is asking you to um, try and uh, surrender as well because there is destiny and divine timing at play and I'm hearing you are reflections of each other in many ways and so there's some heartbreak and wounds from your past and from childhood that you need to focus or continue focus focusing on healing um, but yeah today your person is definitely connecting with you energetically you have this powerful multi-dimensional connection where you feel each other's emotions there's a lot of mind reading because you're connected through space and time this is where you have that pure communication okay so your person today is really thinking about how they really wish that you would trust the intuition trust that they love you they feel heartbroken a lot because they feel like they're wounding you because they can't be what you're wanting them to be at this time. But they really, really wish they could be that for you, is what I'm hearing. <clears throat> Let's start all over again. The Ace of Cups. So they want a new beginning with you. They want to give you their heart. They're hoping the love, the trust, the joy, the harmony can return between you both. I feel like they're trying to send you that love energetically. And uh, they really see that this connection created a whole new beginning for them in their life, like them going in a, in a positive new direction, ascension, raising vibration slowly but surely. 
I will stay in control of this situation. Five of Wands. So yeah, there is some sub subconscious fears within this person. So they do push you away. There could have been a tug of war when you were, if you were chasing them. That, and then that was you trying to micromanage things. And then they were trying to control things by being closed off. Um, so there was some sort of power struggle here. That may be what led to some sort of heartbreak. I'm sorry I took you for granted, the Four of Cups. So I feel like you were giving them your heart, you're being patient. Uh, maybe you were jumping through hoops for this person. Um, but it's just because you're a very giving person. But they were kind of turned away from you. They were going inwards. They had their walls up. Uh, they were fearful of opening their heart. It didn't feel like the right time for them. They, they didn't mean to hurt you. It's just um, their fears and wounds were too great at that time. They used to just sort of dealing with things on their own within themselves and not talking to people. I feel that's from childhood. I won't ever give up on us. The Page of Swords. So, so that's good. This person is actively wanting to heal themselves and heal your connection. And yeah, that's what that divine timing is about as well. And feeling like in the future things are fated. I wouldn't recommend waiting around for this person, no, because that would just create resentment and stagnation in your life. Um, but they feel like there's destiny at play in that divine timing. You are my soulmate. And this is a six of cups. It normally shows the boy reaching out, offering the cup to the girl. So, yeah, we had let's start all over again. You were giving them your cup, your heart in the four of cups, and they weren't receiving it. Now they, they want to give that cup to you. And they want this reconciliation. But, again, I feel it's not right now. You are my twin flame. So we have you are my soulmate, you are my twin flame. You know, um, the label doesn't matter ultimately. Some of them may know the twin flame label, a lot won't. But they they see you as someone highly, highly significant to them. Definitely some sort of soulmate. I'm so sorry. Please find it in your heart to forgive me. So, yeah, they, they couldn't be what you wanted them to be at a specific time. Um, I feel that led to you feeling heartbroken. They know that they that it made you feel that way, but they want you to know it wasn't personal. It's None of this is because they don't love you enough. It's all because they have these intense wounds they're trying to work on, and it's part of the soul contract for them to heal that first. I made the wrong decision. I can't stop kicking myself. So I feel like they chose fear over love. But at the same time, there is that divine timing. I don't feel like they did make a wrong decision. They did the best that they could with um, the knowledge that they had at the time. But they can't stop kicking themselves because they know it hurt you. I'm ready. I don't want to fight this anymore. So, yeah, they, they are eventually coming to this place. I feel like they're going inwards trying to figure out how to get to this place of um, being ready and not fighting, not having that subconscious self-sabotage, pushing you away kind of thing. Give me a second chance, please. I beg you. Um, so, yeah, they're, they're hoping that you can um, remain open hearted and understand that it's not because they don't love you it's just because of their own wounds i'm going to continue this reading on over in vimeo we're going to look deeper into their current thought, thoughts about you and feelings what the current blocks are um, and where your connection is headed so please check that out also please check out the new meditation to remove all blocks to love um, that can really help you in this connection if you are destined to be with this person. If not, it will get you into the right vibration to align with your true soulmate who you are destined to be with. But please check out the Vimeo reading. The details for that are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment. And if this reading has resonated with you, please give it a thumbs up, write a comment, share it and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me here. I really do appreciate it. Take care. Bye.
Welcome to set of cards number three. You've chosen a green crystal. So this is your person's thoughts of you today. Also, we're looking into how they feel about you right now. And we have lots of messages cards we're going to look into. We have the messages from the heart cards and the my soul's desire cards. These are both available on my website to purchase. So if you would like a copy, please check out the link below this video. But before we get into the reading, if you would really like to shift within yourself energetically to become the vibrational match to come into union either with this person, if that is your soul contract to be with this person, or your true soulmate if you're destined to be with someone else, then I have a new really powerful meditation which is called Remove All Love Blocks. And in that meditation I help you to release codependency and attachment because that is one of the main blocks that gets in the way of you being able to attract your true soulmate relationship. I help you to release old rejection and abandonment wounds that have been subconsciously getting in your way and blocking you. And I also get you to stop putting your life on hold, live in the now, live in the present moment. That's vitally important to be present in order to be open and receptive to attracting that person that is destined for you. I also help you to stop basing your self-worth on anyone else outside of yourself because you know whatever we believe within ourselves is what we keep attracting so I help you to recreate that story to be more in alignment with your true self have that deep self-love self-worth knowing that you deserve the best and that is what you will attract as a mirror to your own energy I help you to stop micromanaging or chasing love I help you to really really surrender that's going to make you feel so much more peaceful. It's going to help you to really trust the divine, have faith in the divine and again, live in the present moment. And I also help you in the meditation to visualize yourself in the happy union that you are seeking. So that is called the Remove All Love Blocks Meditation. And it's 50% off because I've just released it. So you get all of this for only $22. That's US dollars. So please check it out. The details are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment. Okay, so your person's thoughts of you today and their feelings as well. Crossroads. Love potion. Missing you. Lock and key. Insecure. Okay, so your person's at some sort of crossroads. I feel it's to do with love versus fear, basically. However, that's playing out in your individual situation. They need to make some sort of decision. They're unsure, though. They feel like they're in some sort of dilemma. We have third party here. So that could be someone else or it could literally just be their fears, their blocks, their wounds. Love versus fear burying their head in the sand. OK, so they're feeling kind of stuck in that dilemma at this time. But at the same time, they feel that you are like this lock and key. You are the perfect fit. You're opening each other's hearts. You have this powerful spiritual union. It's a divine love. Your soulmates or twin flames. It's a deeply loving bond and destined relationship. Destiny brought you together. At this time, I feel it's for a lot of awakening. Um, but yeah, there's some sort of obstacle, so to speak. Uh, I don't feel like obstacles are um, like things that shouldn't be there. They're there like initially and through working through them, we grow and heal. So in a sense, we need the obstacles in order to learn and grow. So in that sense, it's not like a mistake. Um, what I'm basically trying to say is that everything in your connection is happening for a good reason. 
but um, they're feeling very insecure today about this, this dilemma, whatever it is. They're feeling anxious. I feel like they're suffering with some kind of low self-esteem or poor self-image. And this is one of the things definitely um, that's being brought to their attention because they have this uh, opportunity to heal that. So they could continue, they could make a choice to either continue to bury their head in the sand or they can decide to really heal themselves some of them they don't consciously know at this time that that is the crossroads that they're at and um there needs to be an understanding on your side and, and not taking it personally if this person chooses the fear okay this person's not feeling good enough for some reason in your connection but they're really feeling this love potion energy for you they're head over heels for you falling in love or they fell in love with you quickly there was powerful infatuation powerful magnetism towards you which has led to somewhat of an obsession they feel hooked on you they find you irresistible and um, they're captivated they feel this powerful magnetic pull but it makes them feel insecure, okay? Because it's it's threatening the ego. It's threat, threatening like the comfort zone, the thick walls, the masks that we all adopt because we're born into this social matrix with all these pressures to live our life in specific ways. Um, so I feel as though your person's in these initial stages of meeting you and it's created like a sort of tower moment within this person your connections really caused them to stop in their tracks and um they're, they're sensing that there's something more to this connection something beyond the ordinary but i feel like your person they don't fully understand just yet what this connection is about and that it is about a spiritual awaken awakening and that there is like a social matrix and they've been living their life in this illusion in the amnesia they've forgotten who they truly are at the, at the soul level at their core level um so i feel like that is why this person's feeling pulled in two directions at this time and feeling unsure about what this is about because it's like they've been living their life in that illusion so far for many years and then they met you and it, they fell completely head over heels um, it led to some sort of spiritual awakening but the, it, there's you know this push and pull between logic and the soul truth you know the false self and the true self is in a tug of war right now they're missing you today very deeply they're yearning for you they're reminiscing if you know uh, the times that you've shared together, they're reminiscing about those. I think they they think about those times a lot. They're feeling sadness, heartbreak. Um, so, yeah, there's definitely some triggers and wounds going off, like fireworks I'm hearing within this person. But it's all to break down the false self and really wake this person up. They're being shaken up in order to wake up is what i'm hearing they're longing for you today they're pining they want to be close to you but they're, they're like what's going on let's look at some more messages let me be your hero the six of wands so they they have these desires i feel like they daydream a lot about being the best version of themselves for you i feel like you really inspire this person to be their best version um at times but then i feel like a lot of the time they spend going inwards feeling confused and like what is this about what is this tug of war going on within me in some cases it could be they're trying to sort of give this impression that they're stronger than what they're really feeling deep down inside that they're feeling all over the place but you know they feel like that's gonna not look good for their image they're they're worried about how they're appearing to you i'm much stronger now 
So this connection is really going to, and for some of you it already has, helped this person with their self-esteem. They are coming into their personal empowerment. They're coming into their strength. It's an eight. That's that infinity symbol. So you have this powerful, infinite bond, um, which is going to massively heal both of you. You're on this healing journey. I'm not sure what decision to make. The two of swords. So yeah, this person, sometimes it all gets a bit too much. There's the, the logic, the false self, the social matrix on one side. And then there's this magnetism, this awakening, this, this heart opening. And then feeling that this is beyond um, something normal, in quotation marks. Uh, and then sometimes I feel like it just gets too much. They can't figure things out. It really blows their mind. That's their ego falling away bit by bit. Um, but sometimes they just bury their head in the sand because they're like, I don't know what this is. I don't know what decision to make. So they're just um, biding their time. I want you, so I'm coming to get you, the king of wands. This is their desire. They have these fantasies, these dark desires of being like the hero being confident coming forward sweeping you off your feet um their heart their minds like blocking them and this is a natural these are all like natural stages of a, a spiritual awakening um so it's nothing to blame this person for uh their their head's like what's this about their heart's like wanting to race towards you make love to you every day sort of thing <laughs> i feel insecure around you queen of swords um so there's a feeling of them they feel intimidated by you they feel intimidated by this connection maybe you're very open honest straightforward and they're just in this place of confusion so they feel like they can't at this time match up to you in those terms so they don't want to like make a fool out of themselves or appear to be immature so i feel like they're trying to put on some sort of front that they're more confident than what they are but in order to keep up that pretense they may have to sort of keep you at a distance at this time i'm so very sorry please find it in your heart to forgive me um so yeah they have regrets about something uh, they feel like they've upset you or heart made you heartbroken in some kind of way. Or they feel like they're just letting you down or failing you. Um, but again, these are all like beliefs that they have about themselves that are just playing out. Because whatever we focus on and believe within determines our actions. Um, so this person's really, really worried about what you think of them. But really, it's a reflection of them not thinking highly of themselves. And this is definitely something that they're, they're going to be healing over time. No one is like you. You are so incredibly special to me. So this person really sees you as amazing. They really see you as unique and a powerful divine feminine is what I'm feeling. So yeah, that, that's partially what's intimidating them. But at the same time, it's what's making them constantly feel drawn to you. They feel inspired to be like you is what I'm hearing. I love our telepathic bond. I feel you with me every day. So this person loves connecting with you energetically. They're learning a lot from that. They're awakening a lot from this higher dimensional spiritual aspect of your connection. Um, sometimes it is a comfort zone for this person to stay sort of in the energetic realm rather than taking action in the 3D. But I feel like this is all happening in divine timing. You're exactly where you're meant to be at this time. Let's meet up and tell each other how we feel. And I'm trying so hard to figure out how to make it work between us. So yeah, this person has desires to meet up and discuss feelings and be open and honest. But they're struggling with the confidence. I feel 
to get to that point or it's just not the right divine timing just yet and they're trying really hard to figure out how to make it work how to get into that alignment basically for it to be the right time so i'm going to continue this reading on in vimeo we're going to look even deeper into your person's current thoughts about you their current feelings any blocks and where your connection is headed so please check that out also my new meditation that i mentioned at the start the remove all love blocks can really help you to get into alignment with this person if it's part of your soul contract to be with this person so please check that out as well and if this reading has resonated please give it a thumbs up write a comment share it and subscribe it really helps me out and i hope to see you over on vimeo thank you so much take care bye Welcome to set of cards number four. You've chosen the yellow crystal. So this is your person's thoughts of you today. Also, we're looking into how they are feeling about you right now. And we have lots of messages cards that we're going to look into. We have the messages from the heart cards and the my soul's desire cards. These are both available on my website for purchase. So if you would like a copy, please check out the link below this video. But before we get into the reading, if you would really like to shift within yourself energetically to become the vibrational match to come into union either with this person, if that is your soul contract to be with this person, or your true soulmate if you're destined to be with someone else, then I have a new really powerful meditation which is called Remove All Love Blocks. And in that meditation I help you to release codependency and attachment because that is one of the main blocks that gets in the way of you being able to attract your true soulmate relationship. I help you to release old rejection and abandonment wounds that have been subconsciously getting in your way and blocking you. And I also get you to stop putting your life on hold, live in the now, live in the present moment. That's vitally important to be present in order to be open and receptive to attracting that person that is destined for you. I also help you to stop basing your self-worth on anyone else outside of yourself because you know whatever we believe within ourselves is what we keep attracting so I help you to recreate that story to be more in alignment with your true self have that deep self-love self-worth knowing that you deserve the best and that is what you will attract as a mirror to your own energy I help you to stop micromanaging or chasing love I help you to really really surrender that's going to make you feel so much more peaceful. It's going to help you to really trust the divine, have faith in the divine and again, live in the present moment. And I also help you in the meditation to visualize yourself in the happy union that you are seeking. So that is called the Remove All Love Blocks Meditation. And it's 50% off because I've just released it. So you get all of this for only $22. That's US dollars. So please check it out. The details are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment. So your person's thoughts of you today and also how they are feeling. We have hinting, love letter, heartbreak, risk taking and regret. Okay, so your person's could be reaching out to you today. Um, with some sort of communication or they really want to, they want to maybe test the waters with you because I feel like there's been some sort of heartbreak. I feel like maybe they made you feel heartbroken because we also have regret as well. Um, in some cases, they know that you're heartbroken because they've been hinting rather than being direct and taking a leap of faith and communicating to you. Um, so they want that courage to be able to, to be their true self, express their true feelings. But yeah, some of you, you may hear something from them or they're just thinking about uh, taking a risk and telling you their feelings. Maybe to them, just hinting at their feelings is a huge leap of faith. 
So hinting at feelings, shy in their shell, indirect, hiding feelings, keeping their cards close to their chest and denial. Okay, so you may strongly feel this person's feelings for you. You know that they like you. They know that you love, they love you. Um, written communication of feelings, express, expressing heartfelt truths, reaching out, missing you. I'm hearing in some cases that like maybe you've written to them and they want to take this leap of faith and uh, respond with... Um, their true feelings but they may be feeling insecure about that so take this however it resonates definitely some sort of difficulties in communicating feelings but today they're feeling heartbroken intense sadness grieving loss separation regrets betrayal crying mourning Okay, so they're definitely regretting something today where they, they feel like they made you heartbroken and in return that's made them feel heartbroken. They're feeling bad. They're feeling foolish about something. They wish they could turn back time and do things differently. They want to make amends with you. They've grown, they've grown or they're growing from this experience though. They've learned something. Um... So in some cases, if there's a separation or heartbreak, they really made you heartbroken. They're thinking about getting back in contact, basically. And they're, you know, maybe testing the waters to see if you're going to be open and receptive. But yeah, they want to take this leap of faith. Um, and they're, they're trusting their heart, or following their heart against all odds. They're going to take action and be courageous and really go for it. They may express their regret to you with an apology. You may receive some sort of written apology. I'm totally heartbroken. So that's twice heartbreak and heartbroken. Wow. So yeah, this person's experienced a lot of ten intense pain, sadness and grief today. I want to do things right, the Knight of Pentacles. So they want to put the things right is what I'm feeling. So yeah, you may be hearing from them. Maybe today they're writing some sort of letter or written communication or email. Um, you may not hear from them today, but they're either writing it or thinking about doing that. Maybe they're struggling to think how they could put things into words. But they do want to do it right by you. And um, I, I feel like they want to apologize. I will look after you. So, yeah, they want to be dependable. This is the emperor. They want to be dependable. They want to put their best foot forward. They want to honor your needs, um, treat you really good. I'm not sure what decision to make two of swords and i'm coming to you quickly the eight of wands okay so i feel like in the past they were hot and cold they were fearful they were hesitant um burying their head in the sand at times maybe they'll come forward and then they were retreating because they were fearful of being that vulnerable but they wanted to be that vulnerable <coughs> But yeah, this is fast movement. Eight of Wands is also can be about communication. So yeah, you may be hearing from this person today or over the next few days. Um, definitely extending their energy, having some sort of communication with you. They want to put things right. I will call you very soon. So yeah, some sort of communication. Um, some sort of explanation they miss you they want to be close to you They're, it's really eating them up inside if they feel like they've made you heartbroken or did you wrong in some sort of way i made the wrong decision i can't stop kicking myself so interesting we had i'm not sure what decision to make in the past they feel like they made some sort of wrong decision and now they want to come back to you quickly because they can't stop kicking themselves they really feel like they made the wrong decision it was fear-based. I have a confession to make. 
I realize now that no other person can ever replace you. So in some cases, this could be that uh, there was someone else involved. It doesn't have to be for everyone. But for some, maybe they chose to be with someone else or cho chose to stay with someone else and then they feel like it was wrong because um, they miss you. And in their heart, it's like they want to be with you. But in their mind, their fear, their fears made them make the, the wrong sort of decision. You're constantly in my dreams. Um, I feel like this person has a lot of dreams and goals and fantasies and uh, aspirations of being with you. This is also they're dreaming about you literally. So I'm going to ca carry on this video in on in Vimeo, we're going to look deeper into this person's thoughts of you today, their current feelings, what their current blocks may be and where your connection is headed. So please check out the Vimeo reading the details below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment. Please also check out my latest meditation. It can really shift you into the right vibration to come into alignment either with this person, if it is part of your soul contract track to unite with this person and be with this person if not the meditation will help you to attract your true soulmate um, where you will have an amazing relationship so that is the remove all blocks to love meditation the details are also below this video in the description box so please check that out thank you so much for joining me here take care bye